Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this FL Esports FL980 High Performance Mechanical Keyboard. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Okay, so here we have the keyboard. We have a USB-A to USB Type-C cable. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable. We have red keycaps for enter and escape. Here we have a keycap and switch puller. Then we have two manuals here, it looks like. This is warranty card, and this looks like the manual itself. So this shows the different functions. You can pause and read through that, and I'll go over some of those in my video, but here are the specs. Product size is 387.8 by 141 by 38.8 millimeters. This has 98 keys. Cable connection is USB type C. So let's look at the keyboard. So this has a lot of weight to it. The switches on here are kale box white. Let me pull off a key. So here's a key cap. And here's a switch. So this switch clicks when you press it down and also when you release. So here it is in front of the microphone. So I'll reinstall that. So if you like clicky keyboards, this will probably appeal to you. On the bottom we have rubber feet, we have flip out legs, there's rubber on the bottom of that, and there's two levels for that, and they both have rubber on Here we have the placard, I'll pull the label off. Looks very nice. I'll plug a USB cable into it. So that plugs in the bottom here, and you can see the plugs have slots that fit in here to give it a little tighter fit. So if you're using the USB-C to USB-C cable, you want to make sure the ones with the slots are in there. And then you can route the cable out the back, or you can route it out the side, like so. This also has a switch for Mac or Windows. I'll switch it to Mac. That way you don't have to configure it in software for Mac. So let's get this connected to the computer. So this has a backlight on it. It is customizable. Let me try typing on this. It felt very nice. It was very smooth. It is very responsive. There's no latency. You definitely know when you press the key. So if you're curious as to the size of this, here I have a full-size keyboard. So if I place this on top, you can see the main keys here are the same size as a full-size keyboard. You have the inverted T arrow tucked in here, and then we have the numeric keypad. The zero is half the size. And then your page up and down are up here with insert and delete. And then you're missing scroll lock, print screen, pause, break, home and end and one other button. I'm not seeing it right off the top of my head. So you have the functionality of a full-size keyboard in a smaller form factor. So let me turn the lights off so we can see the backlight. So here you can see the backlight. So function control is backlight mode shift. Function right shift is backlight effect switch. Function Alt is switch direction. So now we're going counterclockwise. Now we're going clockwise. Now if you want to restore factory settings, you hold down the function and escape for three seconds. Then function backup. Function backup is light customize mode. Then function underscore is customize mode one. So those are a few of the hotkeys. Now let's head into the computer and look at customizations we can do with the software. Okay, so I'm going to download the software. The link is on the Amazon description page. I'll click driver download. I'll go down to Mac OS wired mode. So if you're on Windows, you'll use the Windows driver. I'll download the driver. Okay, so I've downloaded the app and installed it on my computer. So I have the keyboard here. So if I go on the left, I can hit the little light bulb. And here we can see the different color patterns. So I'll go to static, 
And on the right here, I'll hit light synchronize, and we can see that color here. So I can click on the display, and I can change the color. So that's static color. Then it has different modes. This is neon. We have breathe. So this is going to be a sort of pulse. We have wave, twinkle, snake, radar, aurora. So I'll press the key here. Then we have ripple, same here. I'll press the key and the light will come out from where you press. We have reactive. So these are going to light up and they'll stop dimming a few seconds later. We have cross. So that's going to light up the whole row and column, speed response. So that's going to light up. So that's almost like a VU meter on a speaker. So if I hit it faster, the light's going to go up higher. Then we have custom. So we can go into these. Let's go to radar here. It's spinning around. So here we can change the direction. We can have to go the other direction. We can change the speed. So we can have it be really fast. Or we can have it go slower. Let's go to like twinkle. Let's make that really fast. Or we can make that slower. We can change the brightness. We can change the colors. Let's go to custom. So here we have boxes for alphabets, WASD plus arrows, custom. So I can change these keys to have custom colors. So then you can go to macro here and you can set up macros so you could type a key combination and it will enter multiple keys, things like that. So that's the FL Sports FL980 High Performance Mechanical Keyboard. As I said before, if you like clicky keyboards, I think this is a great option. The keys are very crisp and smooth. It's very nice to type on. I like that you have full functionality of a keyboard and a narrower keyboard, so you're not losing any functionality with this keyboard. This also has the cool backlight modes, and then with the software, you can do customizations of the backlights, you can do macros and things like that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.